Hello procrastinators and welcome to Nerd Cubes 3 Free Game Fridays. First off, we have Caesar's Day Off. This is a little game where you play as Caesar and you can either give thumbs up or thumbs down to things. And it's very, very quick, but you get an ending depending on which things you pick. So there's quite a bit of replayability to it. Right, first things first, we have a gladiatorial arena and someone looking nervous in the middle of it. Or someone with massive bosoms in the middle of it. Uh, I'm going to... Th they have killed everyone, to be perfectly honest. I mean, this person didn't... This person's not really their blood. So there's probably a big hit there. This person's been decapitated. Yeah, no, this is, this is a thumbs up. And he's okay. And he dances around. Woo! That person, right. Grocery store. And apparently we're being charged too much for our goods. That really annoys me that prices and things go up. Um... I like how he's actually bought... That appears to be Nutella. One of the things he's decided to buy was Nutella. Caesar eats Nutella. But no, I am against high prices in supermarkets, so thumbs down for you. <laughs> uh, okay, right, so we have a, a, a waiter who looks anxious with, Sorry, we were out of salad. Hmm. There is a, also a chef peeking around a door. Uh, what appears to be a stereotypical French person looking quite glumly at something. And then there's two people in the other corner who are tiny. There's two tiny people just sitting behind Caesar. Uh, I am I am massively against salad in all its forms because it's not even food. So I am okay with you. Yay! Everyone is happy, including the French person. Uh, take out the garbage, hon. Mm, garbage is a thing that I don't like taking out, but... I gotta be nice to people. Garbage out! <laughs> okay, that was a little bit more extreme than I thought that was gonna be. Uh, I don't know what this one is. There appears to be some children staring at me in my underwear. Am I, am, I, am I okay with getting into my underwear in front of children? Oh wait, no, I appear to be on a diving board. I'm okay, I'm okay with diving! <laughs> that was a spectacular sound effect. Uh, oh, someone's washed my toga room with my white shirts. <sighs> he looks a bit nervous, doesn't he? Well, I, I am... Am I okay with pink clothing? Ooh. Yes, I'm okay with pink clothing. I now look fabulous. Look how fabulous I look. And now I'm wearing the pink clothing. That's nice. Um, Mr. Bell, yeah, let's go upstairs. Does that work? Yay, okay. Yay. Uh, there's a hat. Do I like the hat? That is a fancy hat. Oh, hang on. In the background there, I see a fez. A fez is a superior hat. You should have offered me the fez. Thumbs down to you. The line at your hat. Oh, and the line at you. You left your moustache behind? No, I'm apparently now wearing the moustache. Um, uh, what's... Oh, am I choosing what the finger looks like? I thought I just had, like, some, like, molten, rotten hand thing attached to me. Um, no, I'm thumbs down. You didn't include my moustache. You didn't include my moustache. Oh, you're just gonna make a thumbs down. Okay. Hey! What is... Oh, it's Facebook. Ugh. Ugh, Facebook. I'm gonna thumb this down purely based on the fact that it's Facebook. Uh, <laughs> follow me on Twitter. Link in the description. Down for you. Go to hell. Uh, the lion says, rawr. <gasps> Ooh, Indiana Jones 4. Now. 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 Uh, as someone who just broke 400,000 subscribers, maybe I should keep this opinion to myself. But I kind of liked Indiana Jones 4. Yep, I know. Uh, it's obviously not as good as the first three, but it was quite an enjoyable film. And as a lot of people say that that scene is utterly batshit stupid, Tony Stock made a new element in Iron Man 2, and I really quite like Iron Man 2 as well, so thumbs up for that film! Yay, says George Lucas, apparently. And, uh, the mirror. Or is it myself? Do I like me? <gasps> what a deep personal question. Of course I like me, I'm the greatest person to ever live! Woo! And apparently I had a rad day. Woo! So yeah, that's, like I said, it's incredibly quick. That is Caesar's Day Off. Go play it. It's very silly and fun. I like what this guy is doing with his hat. Okay, so next up we have Deflector Pool. This is a little action puzzle game. Uh, it's quite hard to explain, so I'm going to click the instructions and hope they explain it a bit better. You move using the mouse and collect balls in your own colour. See the orange ones bounced off the silver thing. If you click and touch, then that goes orange, then you can collect the orange ones. Okay, avoid letting water reach the top. Get a higher score by collecting combos of light-coloured balls. Ending a combo will drain some water. Did that help? I don't think it did. Anyway, I'll show you how the game works. Basically, you move this thing around, which moves this top paddle around as well. And then these balls will bounce off of that and then go in your water. I have a silver paddle at the moment, so I won't be able to collect that until I click. And But it doesn't. you don't collect it straight away. Otherwise, that, that would just be too easy. So you got to try and do some sort of gentle manipulation of them. <laughs> To try and get them going. Oh, good God. That one. That one. Yeah. Whoa! Nearly lost one there. Grabby. Grabby. Go over there. I want to angle them this way so they all come this way. The fact is, if you're playing with them over this side, that means it's more likely for the other ones to go on the other side. 
It's a really fiendish little game, this. I quite like it. Ah, whoop, nearly lost one there. Whoop, nearly lost one there. Oh, in a minute they're going to introduce the red ball. And that's where I start to die. I cannot cope. I cannot cope with just... I, can, can't, I can't go with two balls, to be perfectly honest. It's, it's the third one. When the third one comes along, it's just... No. Uh oh whoa, uh whoa. Uh scoop, scoop it up. There we go. <laughs> the fact is, because you're draining the water down, you're draining the area where you can actually collect the things as well. So you're making the game harder for yourself, the better you do. It's just... Just... Mental. It's mental bananas. RNG time. RNG. No, no. R no, sorry time. RNG time. There we go. Alright, the paddle started to eat them. Sometimes the paddle eats them. I can't remember why, but I just go with it because the paddle eating them is less work for me to do. Oh, crap. You got that. No, no, no. Oh, I clicked in there. Okay. Okay. You go off there. I need RNG ones. RNG, RNG. Aha. Sometimes it freezes them so they don't fall down, which I thought was really good. And it just collects them and then they all drop at the same time and then you're buggered. The power ups hinder. The power ups hinder. Nope. I lost one. Ah, I lost one. See, now the, the, the bit's rising. As in all good action puzzles, the level rises and you slowly die. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we have red balls. Red balls are on the loose. Red balls are on the loose. Red balls are worth double, which is great because you'll be dead soon. So you might as well get as high a score you can. Uh, well, you can. Oh my good god. Yeah, yeah. No one gets in. No one gets in. Oh, that guy got in. Ah! Red one, bounce you, bounce you. Red one, silver one. Whoa. Whoa, shit, 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 shit. Flail, 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 flail. Ass. Then I can do something about high scores and no one ever cares what high scores. Submit high score of me. Woo! So that's Deflector Pool. It's um, an action puzzle that hates you and you should play it. Next. Okay, so finally today we have Perspective. This, a lot of people, a lot of people have asked me to play this, is a, uh, a platformer. It's a first person platformer but it's not a first person platformer it's a platformer that you control the view of the platforming this in the first person you know what? just just play it let's just play it and we'll um we'll explain as we go right so you control this guy his name is uh Half diggle the fifth uh it's not but it should be uh, and he runs and jumps and does platforming things don't touch orange stuff or else you'll die just like in real life that's why tango is so evil uh, and he climbs up stuff like this and then mental things happen like this wibbly 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 what so you see that everything lined up when the perspective changed and then I saw that I was like oh so that's gonna happen every now and then and that'd be interesting no no then the game just unlocks a first person mode with that guy staying there so at any point you can left click and then play the game as if it was a platformer where he stands on blue stuff and you sit in this weird sort of like Pizza Planet from Toy Story-esque world, which I quite like. So go along like that, click, and he's over there. Made the, made, uh, it, it's a little mind-blowing, but uh, once you get used to it, it's it's pretty easy, and it's a rather beautiful little game. Uh, then you find little arcade cabinets like this, and you push E on them, and you go inside the arcade, and then you can look around inside the arcade. Uh, the cube. So we have to get him to the exit in every level. Uh, how do we do it on this one? Well, let's move this up to here. Let's have him run along here like this. Click. 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 See? See how it works? He always stands on blue stuff, so everything else he'll just fall down on. Jump! Need to go over there. So he's over there. Go on that one. Do, do, do. There we go. <laughs> Skip all of the things. Uh, compression artifact. Ooh. Okay. Half plus Diggle the fifth. Go! Was that his name? I can't even remember now. So now he's over there. Uh, let's just put him on that side. It's, yeah, you get used to this a lot quicker than I thought you would. It reminds me of uh, one of my favourite ever puzzle games that I talk about an absolutely huge amount, which is Crush for the PSP. Just one of the best puzzle games you'll ever likely to play. It's very much like that. Um, they see this huge corridor here that you could go down forever. Ah, it takes forever. It's a quick way of doing this. <laughs> oh, so tired. Come on. Go. Run. <sighs> okay, yeah. If you go to this view, you can just run across like that. <laughs> Which is just magical. And then run over there like that. In. Woo. All right, next arcade machine. In. I quite like the constant jumping between views. Isolation chamber. Uh, so in this one, there's a thing you can see behind there. You can see another one behind there. So if we get him on there like that, then he's behind there. 
So you can then track him around the solid things, because otherwise it, that's solid, you can't go through it. Do, 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 point. Oh, nearly forgot to jump then, but didn't, because I'm a genius. What? Okay, so next level, big orange pillar in the way. Ah, but if we do that, you can jump over. More ha ha ha. Uh, because he stays the same size, no matter on how far zoomed out you are, he can actually jump higher depending on how close you get to him. So you can see there he can jump and just hit the ceiling. Whoops, if you get close enough to him, he can jump and only go that high. So it, the, you're changing the perspective. <gasps> I get it now. Swap. Okay, so on this level, he is, uh, oh, he's in the middle of nowhere. Let's get him somewhere safer. In the middle of somewhere. Like that. Do, 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 do. Nice. All you need to remember is when you click the button to go back into the first person view, he's attached to the wall that, that's behind him. So if we were to do something like this, he's now on that side over there. Okay? Everybody following? Good. The pillar. Ooh. Right, on this one, we have a big ass orange wall in the way. Uh, which we can barely jump higher then. Ah, I was about to jump higher than it. We can just go over like that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Magic. Okay, this is explaining the you're stuck to the wall, you look like you're stuck on thing pretty well because now he's on the end of that bit. So you can go across like that. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop Where are we? What's going on? Relativity. Oh, that guy. Alright, we have a big bit of blue in the way and nothing to cover it up. So if you get very, very close like this, he can fit into the gap. And now we need to rebigulate him. So if we go up here, you can go like that. You can also jump and have him on the ceiling if you feel like it. If you're one of those kind of people, which I am. Wow. All right, so he's there, bright orange, uh, the way we need to go, and a pillar. Ah, a pillar that he's now attached to. And up, and up, and end of the level. Sweet. One more, then you can go off and play this by yourself. Let's go on that one. What's this one called? The floor is lava. Oh, I fell down a big hole. Ooh, the floor is lava. Ah! Drag him down there like that. Run him across here like this. And apparently the floor is lava. Hmm. So if we abandon him on a wall like that, we can go around here. Dumpty 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 dum. And as if he never, never left the floor. Which he didn't, really. All right, what do we got going on here? Uh, it's a fun one. We, if, if you jump up there, we'll hit the orangey bit. So we need to get rid of the perspective of the orangey bit. Whee! Oop. And victory! That's it. As far as I'm going in that, that was three free games Friday. All of the links to those games are in the description. Thanks for watching, procrastinators, and the floor is lava. I mean, Tara. Enter the domain of the nerd cube. Videos dropping from above like bird poop. Enter the domain of the nerd cube. Videos dropping from above like bird.